I know we're all really excited for Go.4. So today, let's talk about some really great editor improvements that are coming with it. Now this is my favorite update from the blog post. Not least because I ran into this issue in the last two projects using Godot. It's been pretty frustrating. Now in the 3D asset importer, you're able to change up the nodes that are attached to the model. At first glance, you might not see a reason to use that and for your use case, you may not need it. But as an example, one of the things that I ran into as a problem, I made a turret in Blender uh, it had a post and then it had an axle and the turret set on top of those two things. So I wanted one script to rotate the, uh, the post and or the mount and uh, one script to rotate this axle while it's tracking the target. And I, I programmed it out. I was actually able to right click on the model in Godot and click that make children editable and it worked for a little bit but then when I closed Godot and reopened it it reset them back to a, I think I think by default they're spatials any way to work around it I had to make a separate node that on ready found those two objects and then from that point on rotated them uh, to track the, the enemy targets. But with, uh, with this feature, you won't have to do that. So I'm super excited for this feature. I really wish it made it into Godot 3.3. First up, they've improved contrast in the resource menu, but also, and this is gonna really help new users, in the project settings, they've gone in and added an like advanced tab so that by default you can hide all these extra settings that you probably don't need, especially for like your first game. They're still having those settings for the users that need them. Now I know this one is a super requested feature. They made updates to the process mode. Now you could easily disable one node and all of its children will be disabled. So this will really help implementing pause systems in the future. They've also changed where the default import settings are. Instead of being in the import tab, they move that over to the project settings, which will hopefully clear up some confusion for new users. The last two things could be considered boring, maybe, but for larger projects, they're very important. So first of all, they've added a keep file option to the import tool. So for example, if you were having your localization in a, a CSV format, so that you had all your languages and then the keys for your different rows and columns. Now you can, you can set it up so it doesn't try to modify that file anymore. And also, again, for larger projects, they've added threaded importing. So hopefully whenever your project gets bigger, the import time doesn't, doesn't really increase all that much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want more. I also upload devlogs about my tower defense game that I'm uh, making in Godot. See y'all next time.